football in this hole at back where he was kind of getting out there a little bit too quick. Strike three, Beltran, or should I say Gardner, is out and thrown out of the game as well. Fired up, threw down his helmet, threw down the bat, end of the inning, and, and you could really see that Brett Gardner is, is about as angry as we've seen him. So Gardner down looking and does not like it, and Tim Timmons says, you're out of the game, but the Yankees might be back in the game at 7-3. Jose Okendo, that's a live look at the secret weapon. His night is through, we believe. He's been ejected in this game. We went to commercial break, and he was arguing with the home plate umpire. We got the Joe Kelly standoff. And he really wasn't saying a word there, but perhaps he'd said some prior. And the home plate umpire didn't like the way he was I guess he would say showing him up so Jose's tossed and then he had some words to say after that. Stand that after Goslin struck out to end the third inning and his debate on that. That after that it was carried on in the Braves dugout. And Hunter Wendelstedt threw Scott Fletcher out of the game. I think Scott was already on his way. He knew he kind of knew what was coming. <laughs> but some fire out of the dugout to let Wendelstedt know that that wasn't a good call in their view. Has himself a huge day. Oh wow, that was behind him. And now let's see what the play done by Scott Barry says. He's warning the benches. He thinks that Perez on the two home runs was actually intending to hit Ethier. And Mattingly's coming out to say, wait a minute. Remember when uh, Ethier came up in the sixth inning, Marshall had a pitch awfully close to him. Mattingly is saying to the rookie umpire Scott Barry wait a minute because now Mattingly's in trouble. Seven runs five hits for the Dodgers two runs six hits for Arizona. Take another look at the pitch. I think it was behind him. Yeah, got him on the right hip. He had nowhere to go. The so Perez, who does throw around the corner, hits Andre. Mattingly angry over the fact that he was warned. And now, last, last Perez is throwing somebody out. Let's see. It's not. Don't tell me it's Clayton Kershaw. Don't tell me it's Clayton hollering. And I think he might have gotten kicked out. Wow. That's one to pop your bubble. Clayton Kershaw kicked out for hollering from the dugout. Laz Diaz chased him out of there. What an inning. And now here comes Kirk Gibson. Third base. Yeah, they're going to get him third. I think that's the right call. So a triple for Grossman. Lloyd coming out. He probably wants it. He's probably thinking, hey, wait a minute, I want two, not three. <laughs> Just ran Lloyd. Well, Lloyd is saying that the fielders. Stop play because they signaled home run. And the second base umpire tonight, Pat Hoberg, signaled home run, and he was all the way out where the outfielders could see him. And Lloyd saying that the outfielders shut it down because they saw the home run call, even though Grossman was running.
If you look at the video, you can see that Grossman was about halfway to third, but he's saying because of the home run call, his outfielders shut down their play. And that's the reason why he was able to get as far as he was towards third, and he wanted him to sec be at second base. I don't blame him. I'd want him at second, too. But it doesn't appear that they're going to change their call, and Lloyd not happy with the explanation. See Jackson as he picks the ball. Let's see if we can see where he is looking. He's got his back turned. I understand Lloyd's point, but I, I think that they ended up getting that one right. What a development here with one out in the seventh inning. Well, the Mariners have to bring their infield in. And one of the best hitters in the American League Leading stepping to the plate. Just waiting. For things to happen for. But now that we talk about times, there was a sense of urgency, but now you see Hallions yelling at Lackey because of, I'm sure Lackey's showing his displeasure with the strike zone. That's ridiculous. Mike Matheny, he threw out John Lackey. Standing on the mound, getting ready to pitch, and he gets tossed. And we're in a pennant race. Mike Matheny has a real legitimate complaint right here. You're in a pennant race, and you get a pitcher tossed that doesn't say a word, standing on the mound, getting ready to make a pitch. Like to see the fine he should get. Just did that. In a pennant race, you think you have to have a little more tolerance. And here's Tom Hallion, who's you know the crew chief. He's been around a long time. He wow. looked in a couple times, displeased, but I, I didn't see any outward real gestures that really made you think anything. And Tyler Lyons will be given as many pitches he needs to get ready. Bartolo Colon has been ejected from the game. Mm. Well, Colon hit Desmond after LaRoche's home run, and now he hits Worth after Rendon's home run, and the home plate umpire John Tumpane immediately ejected Colon. And Terry, of course, will go out there to defend his pitcher, and whether there was intent or not, the circumstances, I think, certainly led Tumpane to make that call. Well, this is the second batter in the game. Hit him on the tricep. This is the second and batter. And now Terry's been thrown out of the game. Yes, well, he's got to protect his pitcher. This is the second hit batsman, both after home runs, Gare. And that's, and you know, we're talking about one of the best control pitchers in the game. And Di Scalfani hits Gomez. He's been ejected. Di Scalfani came inside hit Gomez. He's been ejected. Marlins aren't happy about this either. See, because it's not an automatic ejection. So you try to pitch inside, you miss a little bit, and you clip him. And all of a sudden, you get thrown out of the game. Unbelievable. So if you're the Marlins tonight, you feel everybody's against you. The four guys in blue, the Brewers, of course, you're in their ballpark. And with everything that's happening, 
that's the feeling you have and boy is it hard to get out of that. Chuck Hernandez Marlins pitching coach lingering around. Marlins have to make a decision as to who. To. Replace Di Sclafani. Jack Hanahan caught out on strikes by Dan Iasonia to end the top of the ninth inning. He had some words for the umpire. Then turned and walked back toward the dugout. And apparently he came back out. It looks like he's been thrown out of this game. Brian Price out there to try to uh, intervene. That's the crew chief Dale Scott in there also. That was all the action between innings here at Miller Park. Well, the good news of that is it's nice to see a little bit of emotion. The bad news is, I mean, I'm not sure what Jack Hanahan expects to happen there. I expect maybe to get a little bit of his money's worth anytime you get tossed from a game. It costs you some money, so you might as well get some kind of satisfaction. We didn't get a chance to look at the replay of that pitch, but just from his body language, it looked like it was an inside delivery. Here it is. Like one is for somebody to put their hand in there, move the fingers around, take away that comfort level you have with your own mitt. Bautista thought it was ball four. Bill Welke rings him up. It was a slider. And Welke having a discussion. Oh, he threw him out of the game. And Bautista. And John Gibbons might be next. Just telling. Welke when he thought of that pitch and didn't seem to be very animated but he got tossed. So Bautista has been thrown out of this game. Seemed to be awfully quick. Well it's a pretty good pitch and I think Jose Bautista is just showing his frustration and he's questioning the umpire and it sounds like Bill Welke was going to listen a little bit. But not too much, finally ejecting him for arguing the balls and strikes. It did look like a good pitch. It was a slider down and away, and Bautista was called out and then took exception and voiced his displeasure with the umpire and has been thrown out of this game. And again, you talk about the frustrations Jose's experiencing right now. Excellent job by Kirk Casale, the catcher, making that ball look good to the home plate umpire, Bill Welke. It's certainly not. Jack Hanahan caught out on strikes by Dan Iasonia to end the top of the ninth inning. He had some words for the umpire, then turned and walked back toward the dugout. And apparently he came back out. It looks like he's been thrown out of this game. Brian Price out there to try to uh, intervene. That's the crew chief Dale Scott in there also. That was all the action between innings here at Miller Park. Well, the good news of that is it's nice to see a little bit of emotion. The bad news is, I mean, I'm not sure what Jack Hanahan expects to happen there. I expect maybe to get a little bit of his money's worth anytime you get tossed from a game. It costs you some money, so you might as well get some kind of satisfaction. We didn't get a chance to look at the replay of that pitch, but just from his body language, it looked like it was an inside delivery. Here it is. Like that is going to be, uh, I would imagine, a fine as well as uh, Papelbon shaking his head. Ryan Sandberg now out uh, on the field trying to get some kind of explanation as to exactly why Papelbon was thrown out of the game. Papelbon asking what he said. And, uh, well, you can surmise as to why he guys he was tossed out of the game. Uh, yeah, he didn't seem. Overly pleased by the well, reaction of the crowd as he uh, made his you know, way to the dugout. He, he did. He did kind of adjust his 
Well, for those of you that don't know it out there, the baseball players wear kind of a jock strap and a cup, and there's a lot going on down there. And he did, you know, he did adjust it as he was walking off the field. Now, to say for sure that it was in response to some booing, I, I couldn't do that. And I mean, only Jonathan knows. And this is uh, Papelbon now. And he said no. He said because usually it's hard for switch hitters to get hit like that because you get a long run. Oh, from the opposite side, yeah. yeah. And Henley's a switch hitter, but the deep throw is so hard and the ball just kept coming up. Hit him in the chin. Headley having a conversation with Ooh, the throw. Throw. thrown out. Well, something was going on there, you could tell. I, I I think Marty Foster, the home plate umpire, was telling Headley to get in the box. You know, we don't see this much, but it was there's a there's a 12 second rule that's out there. I know. I don't think it was that out. I you think don't? he was complaining about that that, that strike call. Well, here right. comes Joe West again. I mean, can you imagine if they're all of a sudden going to institute the no, 12 second rule? Well, you know what? It, I did see him gesture. Just get in the box. So you, you're probably right. Maybe he was complaining, and they don't want to hear it. He's upset at this pitch. It's the first pitch of the at bat. Borderline down. Like you see for his reaction right there, not happy with the call. Well, right there. Eh? All right, now he's turning back. You know what I always felt, as long as you're not turning to an umpire and letting everybody here at Tropicana Field know that I'm getting into it with you. Chase tried to mention something while he was looking at home plate. Marty Foster went back at him. Now they're getting into it, and everybody knows there's an issue now. And then there, that's it. And now you know this. Uh, umpires will let you say a lot of things as long as you're not showing them up in front of the crowd where everybody knows it. Obviously, Marty Foster heard enough. Yeah, I, you know, from that replay, uh, that that's pretty sensitive of Marty Foster because you did not see Chase Headley doing anything disrespectful. Right. I didn't think. You seemed a lot worse. Stephen Drew will take over the at bat with an 0-1 count. Foster tonight. Talked earlier about the mechanical adjustment. It's paid off. And a breaking ball is a high strike three call, and Freeman snaps his bat. And he's thrown out of the game. Freeman snapped his bat, slammed it to the plate, and was immediately ejected by Tim Timmons. And Freddy Gonzalez can't believe the quick hook. Nor can I. You can get fined for throwing your equipment. Freddy's gone too. Snapped and so did the Braves first baseman. He and the manager ejected after six. Tomorrow will be his final game here. When did that get him? He's, yes, it did as they tried to come up and in. So Derek Jeter is hit by a pitch. Rob Drake is warning both sides. That's that's ridiculous. I don't understand that at all. Now Joe Girardi is going to come out and have an issue as Joe Madden will as well. And now Joe Girardi is pointing at at Jelps. Now that's that's got to be frustration. Why would Jelps be hitting Derek Jeter there?
Joe clearly is frustrated from that not getting a second look at that call on the tag up. But in no way did I think that he was throwing at Derek Jeter there. Hannigan setting up away. You know, unless there's a history, what, why would why would home plate umpire Rob Drake immediately call warnings? And I, I agree with you. I, uh, to me, that unless there's something that I don't know about here, I, that this I can't imagine a six to one game that he want to hit Derek Jeter. He, uh, no. There's a mixing it up here. And fooling the Pirates most of the night. His career strikeout high is 12. It was against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Oh boy. Now he's out of the game. Garza has been ejected. Garza has been tossed as McCutcheon is hit again. And yeah, this is what we're talking about. About protecting the reigning MVP. They keep going after him. Whether you say it's intentional or not. And Garza came into the game having hit two batters this year. Yeah, you can you can whine all you want. And you can scream at the umpire, I wasn't trying to do it. But that's secondary. Whether you meant to or not, it happened. Simple as that. Both benches were worn, and he comes up and in and hits McCutcheon for a second time. You just can't have your man hit. I still go back to the league office. How absurd that Major League Baseball let Randall Delgado get away with it in Arizona. It's unbelievable. Lars is hearing it from the crowd. Todd Thompson, the head trainer, still checking on McCutcheon. is furious of course in Garza's defense you know McCutcheon did kind of lean toward the pitch a little bit there and that, yeah. that replay I didn't see that initially but you, know, you can you can see uh, Garza's side of it well we have discussed the situation a lot over recent years about guys diving into pitches to protect the outside corner that was the debate about the Paul Goldschmidt thing in Arizona. Yep. Goldschmidt yep. actually started toward that pitch. Yep. It ended up breaking his hand, and then they felt the need to retaliate the next day, and they hit McCutcheon square in the back. They all move that foot in. See that foot's going, going toward him. Home play. I mean, that's a traditional move toward the hitting zone. I mean, But, uh, McCutcheon moments ago. He is uh, he's tired of getting hit and getting buzzed. We showed you earlier a number of times. Now the uh, Brewers will need a new pitcher. I'm pretty certain that Ron Renegade will be handing the baseball here, and then he'll have to go to the clubhouse as well. Automatic ejection of the pitcher and the manager. And yeah, he gets a Marco hug from uh, Lou Croy, and the manager Renegade hears it on his way to the clubhouse.
Strike three call. And that will end the eighth inning. The Red Sox get a run, and Cespedes. They just get tossed? Yes. He did indeed. So an ejection here. It's 5 2 Tampa Bay. Ninth inning back at Fenway Park, 5 to 2, Tampa Bay on top and ejected was you a Cespedes. Yeah, Cespedes not happy about a couple of calls in that at bat and uh, said something that got him ejected very quickly. Looked like one word. Might have been two. Bryce Breads. I think he got <laughs> thrown out of the game before the second one came out. Gomez on the ground. Oh, nice play by Valbuena, but nobody's at first base. What's Rizzo doing? What the heck was that? I think Rizzo was thinking that Valbuena was going to tag Segura as he got to was heading to third base. Something's up here. Rick Renteria. Did, did Rizzo collide with the umpire? I'm not even sure. I didn't see that. Renteria is hot about something. I'm not sure what. Well, he's now he's heading back. I'm not sure what this is all about. I'm not sure how Rizzo could have collided with the first base umpire because he's down the line. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It, but I don't, I don't know if that, what that's about anyway. That was a strange play. Valbuena he makes a terrific play, he gets to his feet, and nobody's at first base. I'm not sure what Renteria so upset oh. about. Renteria just got thrown out. I read lips a little bit, and one of the phrases was, oh, for crying out loud. Along with some other things. <laughs> I can't read lips, but I did recognize the one phrase that he said. <laughs> so Renteria is out. We're going to have to uh, find out what happened here. Valbuena, he gets up and there's nobody there. Well, what's, he, what's all the fuss about? I'm not sure what Renteria is upset about. I'd like to know. What am I missing here? <laughs> 